y'all, welcome to Level Up Cajun Style with me, Chuck Bush. Today we're gonna to be making my famous Cajun burgers. I can't hardly wait, my mouth is salivating like crazy. And then we're gonna level it up if you can imagine that. So stick around, allons cuisiner. Okay, hey y'all, thanks for sticking around after that brief introduction, I really appreciate that. Like I said, today we're gonna to be doing my famous Cajun burger. Now you're like, Chuck, you did fish, you're doing burgers now, what are you doing? This is not hard stuff. Well, you're right, we're shooting this during the summertime. And because it's the summer and people are doing cookouts, I thought I'd be a little relevant to what people are actually doing. So we're not cooking outside today, though we're gonna cook on my handy dandy grill over the fire with my handy dandy Pampered Chef press, it's heavy. And for our ingredients today, aside from the normal accoutrement for a hamburger, which you know, tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, onions, and cheese, we're gonna have, for the meat, we're gonna have our wet ingredients, which are gonna be Worcestershire sauce and our Italian salad dressing, and our dry ingredients, which are going to be our Italian breadcrumbs and our Pima's uh, Cajun hamburger mix, along with, always, Pima's Cajun shake. And we're gonna put all that into the ground meat, one pound of ground meat, plus a little bit of cracked pepper and salt. All right, so we're gonna combine all these guys together in a mixing bowl. We're gonna get our fingers all ooey gooey. So stick around and it's just in a blink of an eye, we're gonna be right back, okay? Don't move. Let's go ahead and build that burger, okay? You ready? Now, I've already got the one pound of ground meat right down here. And you say, how, Chuck, how can you put your fingers in that tent? Well, number one, I washed my hands before I did this, as I suggest you do. And number two, I got my handy dandy towel over here that just, just appeared into the shot because I'd forgotten it. So let's add our ingredients, number one. I know it's a surprise, but we forgot the egg. So one egg. All right, so let's crack that egg in there right quick. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. All right, and then on top of the egg, I'm gonna add some of my dry ingredients first. I'm gonna add my breadcrumbs. I'm just gonna add enough to cover the top of the meat. That's all I'm gonna do is not like, well, you know, it's 3.4 ounces. No, just enough to cover the top of the meat. And then the uh, Pima's Cajun hamburger mix right on top of that. Again, just enough to cover it. It's all to taste, guys. Now, the, the Pima's Cajun hamburger mix comes in a package that covers three pounds of ground meat. So don't put the whole package in here, otherwise you'll have a mouthful of, of Pima's Cajun uh, hamburger mix. All right, and then we're gonna start getting a little bit gooey here. Fingers inside, kneading it all up, kneading it all up, mix it, mix it, mix it. All right, I know we just barely started, but it's time to add some of the wet ingredients, which are gonna be my Worcestershire sauce, and how do you say it? It's not W sauce, it's what's this here sauce, Worcestershire sauce, okay? And we just splash that on top. Again, just to, just to taste, okay? Some people like a lot of Worcester. I like a little bit of Worcester. And then we're gonna dump our entire, uh, this is about two tablespoons of Italian salad dressing right over the top. All right, great. And now we're gonna add a little bit of Pima's Cajun shake, just a little bit of fluff, choo, 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 choo. All right, and it looks like it's gonna be a little wet, so we're gonna add a little bit more breadcrumbs, and we're gonna mix it together. And while I'm mixing, y'all sit down and imagine how good this is gonna taste, all right? All right, y'all, welcome back. Listen, I know we didn't go long, or we didn't go far, but we're glad you're sticking around. We did not want to bore you with how to take the meat out of the big pile and roll it into a ball and flatten it into a patty. We figured y'all have made burgers well enough, you know how to do that. So we've, we've taken the meat, Squinched off piece by piece, made four individual quarter pound patties. Remember, one pound of ground beef, one, two, three, a whole pound. Got it? Okay. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get a heat going here. Turn on my little handy dandy grill. Take off my pampered chef stomper. And we're gonna take the meat off of the pan, one by one, off the plate. And I'm gonna put them in the center of this grill here, next close next to each other. You can already hear them sizzling up. Turn the heat down a little bit. All right. And now they're all four together. I'm gonna to take my pampered chef press, put it right down on top. You're like, Chuck, what's that gonna do? Well, what it's gonna do is actually retains the heat and actually kind of cooks the meat on both sides. And I'll show you what that looks like here in just a bit. In the meantime, while the burgers are cooking, we've all seen hamburgers cook before. So we're not gonna bore you with that, but we are gonna get our sourdough buns I have melted a couple of teas, a couple of tablespoons of butter, and I'm gonna put it on the bun. And we have preheated our oven to 350 degrees. And we're gonna to toast these buns. And yes, I know I'm making a mess, but I've said it before, if you don't make a mess, it's just not good. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna push butter on both the tops and the bottoms 
of the buns. And then surprisingly enough, we're going to put the tops back on. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to hit it with a little bit more butter. Just a little bit, just a little scotch to make it, give it that little brown bump. Now Chuck, is putting that butter on the top of these things, is that your level up? Mm -mm. No? What about that pepper jack cheese you got right there, Chuck? Is that the level up? Well, look, pepper jack's going to take it up a level, but that's not my level up. In fact, I think you're going to be very surprised at what makes Chuck's Cajun burgers that are leveled up the talk of the town. All right? So let me finish, finish putting this butter on here. We're going to roast these guys. We're going to, we're going to crisp them up at 350 degrees for just a few minutes. And uh, don't go away. Okay, so you're asking yourself, hey, Chuck, do I really need that, that Pampered Chef press? I mean, really, what's that doing? Well, I just wanted you guys to take a look real quick, and you'll see it in this camera. We're going to take this off. It's really kind of been cooking on both sides, and that's what happens. You see this guy steaming. See the steam coming off of him? Feel a little mysterious. Well, that's what it's doing. So before I turn those over, I just wanted you guys to see that that's what a Pampered Chef press or any really good heavy press will do for you. And you can use it inside on your, on your internal grill or on, on your grill outside. Either one will work just fine. Be sure to pick one up. Okay, guys, again, before we, we flip these guys over, I wanted you to see what happens underneath here when we pull this guy off that's cooking on both sides. But more importantly, this is what we, why we do what we do with our bread. This is a, a bun that was the original color. And I just wanted to put it up here so you guys could see the difference between having it in the, in the oven for just a few minutes and having it here. This is much more crispy, crunchy, much more golden. And on the inside, it's really, really uh, part of our level up. Is it the level up? No, no, no. I have some other surprises coming up. And you're gonna say, Chuck, is that the level up? Nope, that's not the level up. You'll, I'll tell you when the level up's coming. You just be patient, okay? Stop being such a pill. Just kidding. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is now we're gonna start assembling our burgers, all right? Okay, oh, well, we're getting close to the end, but we're not there yet because almost as important as putting together the meat is how we build the burger because we got a lot of stuff to put on here, okay? And I won't give away the level up just yet, but you'll notice we have on the bottom bread, we have put a little bit of lettuce and tomato, and on the tomato, we have added a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, a little salt, just like we said before. And of course, we have to add a little bit, tiny bit of Pima's Cajun shakes. Let's do that real quick. Just a little tiny bit. Yeehaw. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our burger on the patty. Now, whew, ooey gooey cheese. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, that's pepper jack cheese, guys. You're like, hey, Chuck, is that the level up? Is it pepper jack cheese today? Nope, that's not it. But the pepper jack cheese is going to be part of helping us with our level up. Put this guy right here. Now, that's a beautiful burger just in and by itself. But suppose I was to say, hey, you know what? We're going to put some sautéed onions, sautéed yellow onions on there. Would that be good? Would you like that? I'm like, yeah, Chuck, that would be, that's a great level up. But you know what? That's not the level up. Here comes the level up. We have, when y'all weren't looking, I sautéed some shrimp. So we're going to take some shrimp. We're going to put one, two, Three, mouth watering yet? Four, on the on top of the cheese, which is why it's there to help hold that in place. One, two, three, four. And and that cheese is making it stick really nicely. And then guess what? Sauteed onions right on top. Now, guys, if this is not the most delicious burger you've had in some time then you must live in South Louisiana. No, this is fantastic tasting burger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack this on top. We're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna give you take a look in here. All right, we have two more burgers, some more shrimp and some more onions. So we're gonna be building some more. Just wanna make two, just to, you can hear my, you hear me slurping? It's that, my taste buds are going nuts. I'm salivating like crazy. So we're gonna put these guys on top. Nice, warm, crunchy bread. And we're gonna cut them in half for you. Let me show you what we got going. Stick around. All right, y'all, it's about time to ring the dinner bell, but the first thing we want to do is just take a look at a cross-section of this dude. It looks amazing. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Whew, I'll tell you what. This is a backyard barbecue favorite or a favorite in your own house and your grill. Invite your friends over, serve this, and they'll be talking about you for a very long time. Good things this time, too. Okay, listen, thank you all so much for stopping by. We appreciate having you. Please subscribe if you don't, if you don't uh, think about it real quick. Just 
push that subscribe button, push the bell for notifications, because we look forward to having you here each and every week. God bless you. God bless America. God bless this food robot team. And allons cuisiner.